What's up? Afro DJ Mac here with another two minute Ableton live tip. And I want to talk to you today more about side chaining. And now we're going to talk about the auto filter. So I have this track right here. It's a little lead part. I'll let you hear it. And it's got an auto filter on it. And the auto filter right now is being side chained to this track right here, which is a little percussive thing. So the way we do side chaining with the auto filter is again, you just click on this little triangle here that opens the side chaining and closes it as well. Click side chain and select your audio from just like we did with the compressor. And we want this fifth track here, right here, this percussive number. And um, basically you set this the way you want it. And depending on your envelope, um, your side chain track here, which is this one, which is moving here, this will affect this filter position kind of like this, based on whenever these drums hit. So I'll let you hear without it. So that's what my synth sounds like to begin with. Now let's have the auto filter on. And I'll play with the envelope a little, make it more extreme. And here it's also panning it a lot because I have the phase set here. I could change that if I wanted. Um, but I don't. <laughs> so what's basically happening, you get your filter to move based on another track, just like this. So this percussion track is causing that filter to move and you can have any kind of filter you wanted on here. Very handy, cool little effect there. Hope that helps. Next time we'll talk about the gate.